this is a remote viewing demonstration conducted for the Sunday London Times. The objective has been determined by the reporter from the Sunday London Times, and it has uh, been written up into the proper order by him. Um, so, Tony, if you would give the monitors the objectives. doing the same objective. Two different kinds of viewers here. Bruce is what we call a conceptual viewer, and John is what we call a physical viewer. So the data will be different, but the same.
An elongated energetic bit to me. It's like more of a elongated um, conceptual energetic. Okay, B okay, is so a subject. Solid parting. C. There's like a reaching moving movement. in opposite ways. Reaching movement and play. Yeah, there's a red. It's kind of and red. Um, bit red. Frequent. This is um. And um. It's kind of like the the subject is in a sort of dynamic movement. Copycat or something. Huh? <laughs> w equals. Um, Did you do W's? It's more Did like you do W's? Uh, w equals? No. Okay. Just subject one. is um, copycat. Um, there's like it's like a bending over, yeah, bending. Planking. Uh, from a uh, pointed aspect. A standing position, like a reaching over, bending, reaching. Um, yeah, kind of like over the head or something, reaching feel, and a um, towards towards something. Kind of reaching toward departure for something. Did you catch that something? Um. Um. No, no. Okay. Um. There's a uh, orange, orange. And um, it's kind of bumpy. Subject surface skin is sort of uh, it's kind of hard to touch it. Feels really weird. It's like a um, it's like a. Um, Bluish tint, bluish tint on skin. There's almost like a like if you touch your tongue to a bad. I don't have a clue. Um, taste, you know. I'm just picking up kind of an idea in the scan. Actually, it's a scan of an idea, taste. like um something like when. I, um, um, There's a, there's a cylindrical aspect near the subject. Near subject. And, um... It's 
Very strange coating around the skin, coating on skin. <laughs> I don't know. Just because I'm very conceptual, so I'm ready to go on to the next scan because okay. that's a concern. Okay. Okay. There's this mm -hmm. sort of like a. Okay. Yeah, right. Curving up. Oh, yeah, kind of like. Curving up. It's like reaching back. Angle. Over. Curving upwards. Two, three, scan. Page three. Okay. Prepare um, to scan um, the objective again. Okay. Seven, two, Softer. two, one, zero, nine, eight, one. A colon. So upward. Upward, I get a corner over, edge down. And subject. Natural. Down in and out. It's a bit suspended soft. Suspended and. A bit soft. I don't mean like and, necessarily um, hanging from there. I mean like. There's a. Um, crosswords, you know what I mean? Okay. So it's also a hardness to it. Yeah, but I'm going to try to make this more physical if I can. It's, okay. it's blocky. Um. B is a structure. Let me go back to artificial or natural in a sec. Okay, so it's got these like kind of um, it's got this kind of like bevel on it, beveled, and it's sort of, um, it's got a flat top, flat top, beveled edge. Momentary stasis before separation. And, um, <laughs> it's I kind of know. rounded, it seems to be rounded. Um, Are we talking about the cylindrical thing? Oh, we might be, yeah. yeah. And it's, um, um, Lifted in some way. Lifted. Silver. And, um. Brown subject. Yeah, it seems to be cylindrical. It's got the ridges on it. Any motion to this? It's very. It's almost screen like. There's like a screen like aspect to it as well. Into. Any what? Motion. Energetics. Something new. So well, there might be a. You know, there's somebody, but it's like. Uh, a thicker. There's almost a thicker feeling when you go into it, but that's probably the. I'm just like going to draw this huge hand on top of this person. <laughs> but that's a thicker it's feeling. Kind of horrible, you know? This is like. And it's. Uh, Wait a minute. And then the subject moves in. Huh? Temperatures. Yeah, there's there's like a fluctuating fluctuating temperature temps inside. Separates. And sort of a um, into two paths. Like it's warmer in spots near the bottom. <laughs> near bottom. And it's uh, a... Yes. In a second. And there's, this, there's a thickness around it because it's a... Uh, there's a thickness near the base. Thickness near base in the air. Sort of hovering as you go up okay. higher. It's like um, it's really interesting because totally I, it's a, here, thickness. You're well, it's an orangey, orange, orange, orange energy okay. slash thickness. It's an atmospheric. Thing? Yeah. Okay. Atmospheric, and then bl more blue near the top and lighter. Near top, it's atmospheric. Um, I think 
keep getting this aspect of bubbles. I don't know what it is. Bubbles, bubbles. I'm not getting, I don't know what I'm getting. Maybe about. bubbles but, around um, and things popping around. Looping and across any other songs? and then huh? any other songs? curving um, upward. Angle. Horizontal. I just word equals worship. Get that out. <laughs> you know other sounds now. So I have this sort of beveled top. Is that sort of a sort of rounded? This orange, thick, then bluer up here, orange down here. Oh, oh, I didn't get that far. Yeah, I, okay. <laughs> I didn't even probe it. Two, three, four, I know, I always skip that four. part, but I go back to it. Yeah, and uh, again. Lumpy. Yeah, hold on. Be a subject okay. in um, natural. And um, it's just very right. curious to me because there's like this whole sense of Seven, waiting for something two, and waiting for two, this whole. One, zero, nine. There's eight, something in stasis one. and it's waiting hey, cool. for the next get part. An upward. Which is a. Down in. A big change. Into like point. Change. Out. Transformation. Down into point. It, well, it is. It's like there was one, you know, yeah, this is like out. part A is right. here, and then part B is here, okay? No, 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 and now, like over here, there was like one and it's sort thing, of, uh, one idea, or uh, stretch. And then you have your person in it. Be like the person. It really feels like an energetic. Energetic. Let's see. Natural or artificial? It's copycat. It feels and like um, putting something natural. together. It's, it's like, like a there's like something that solidifies right here, and this okay, person's like so in some kind um, of holding see, pattern stasis, something. It's kind of pastel. Before there's this big pastel colors change and, uh, right here. Okay. I've got. Um, and then it there's there's more there's than a, one a graduation of colors. Uh, <laughs> okay. Graduation. Oh, more this too. There's a divergence. I'll just say. Um, I don't know. X marks. It's very soft, very soft, like cotton candy, kind of soft. Okay. Yes, like cotton candy. Um. Page five. Page five for the collector. Like cotton candy soft. It's it's That's almost like a. Um, a movement like. Um, like it relates to the subject's movement, you know? Is it still like a reaching out? What's well, a stretching? Stretching. It kind of goes downward, though, you know? It's kind of like bum, 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 downward, uh, a downward, a downward energy, like falling. Falling feel. Um, it actually has like bumps or steps. Yeah, down. almost. Yeah, it seems, seems like that. Seems that way. Yeah, morph with that. Uh, I can see star patterns. Star patterns in the energy. And uh, um, it's like moving to something unknown but not unexpected. It's like a point of departure. It's kind of drifting. It's like red. Drifting feel. And I keep saying something that's all the right. And there's like and, this um, weird. Brightness around the outer edge. Something sparkly in the distance. And um, this is like. Um, this 
just um, the subject and stasis. Yeah, I'm not getting too much on this. I don't know why. No, there's a real subject. Okay, I'll, you know, stick my hands in it and see. Well, it's very fuzzy. And, mm. You know, it's, it's one of the, another one of those right. kind of ambivalent At the end of it all. energetics. Mm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got these uh, sort of... Um, it's bright at the It's end. got these layers, like these graduated layers of, uh, of, of pastel <laughs> colors, you know. I'm not sure. And the movement is stretching. Yeah, the movement is the sort of this uh, slow tumbling, you know. No. Slow tumbling downward. I'm just picking this up, like this big conceptual idea. I'm trying to get more physical uh, with it. Where do you I think go? my John brain's Wayne. a little burnt out today. I don't know <laughs> at why. At this point. Um, okay. um, whoops. Yeah, yeah, it's almost their elastic aspects, but you know, I have to say that solid. It's this tumbling downward feel. Okay, right let's move on. Sort of a. The point it seems to do it rather slowly, though. You know, where well, it downward goes into two separate things. Hey. Okay. Oh, let me do a general sketch, okay. What page am I on six? Okay. Scan one. Which was your Okay, you got this one Two, three. subject here. And then you have this outside influence. Okay, that's like okay. the big okay. hand, okay? okay? That's the outside influence. Okay, so the subject is um, objects around. Let me just I have laughing some objects around. At me. <laughs> We're just passing notes. <laughs> oh. There are, um, yeah, it just feels like um, it just feels like there are uh, like. Is it like real cluttered? Yeah, it's cluttered yeah. and um, sort of. Uh, how do I say it? I keep seeing this wire frame. That's kind of brightness. Uh, just word employee. What? Yeah. In front? Or stuff? <laughs> yeah, it just seems to be um, in an area that's... This uh, is outside influence in the subject, uh, and this is like the big uh, change. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this person's sort of, um, right now in stasis. In the moment of the viewing. It's you very know, strange. It's like in this moment because, of stasis, um, like where... Um, <laughs> I just can't, I can't figure okay, out the subject, the which is odd, I uh -huh. think. I can't figure out subject because it's odd. The space is Any indecision. subjectives out of this? Inability to ask. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. No? It's no? odd. There's something feels really no, odd about it. No, there's a waiting. It's not an inability to act. It's like um, a waiting. Okay. Because you me? have to, because... Yeah, well, uh, you know, there's a lot of, mm, there seems to be on. a lot of, um... Of, 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 of. Sorry. What is that? It's like, um, um I gotta root that out. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. Okay. Keep it here. Okay, I can't figure it out. Like an intention? Wants to okay. do something? Or? Man, I just want to really. do an M4 more, matrix instead, but sorry, I'm doing I'm this so just because it'll make it easier for everybody else who's watching this later, you know, when they get this. Right. Yeah. Yeah, v. There's something just very because this subject is related to the energetic movement, right. and there's something very, um, very um, rubbery about it. But I don't know why. It's very rubbery, kind of like. Um, See, because the way it's moving, the way it, it bends back, it kind of bends back over itself, which is just... It, it, Sketch it out. Huh? Sketch that. Well, if it's going this way, all of a sudden it bends back this way, right? You know what I'm saying? In a, in a, strange, in a strange contorted manner. Okay. Um... Do you want to move on? 
No, actually, this is just, it's really strange. So I've got to, I've got to try and figure this out. out be, okay, it's like the, in the, the movement of the subject. Within the movement, there are, um, there are these white, white whips, white whips. I think, you know, there's just, there are objects around, objects that's cluttered like glasses, cluttered glasses, and that's an IS, that's high level. Glasses and, uh, I just get that out of the way. And it's because there are cylindrical aspects and there are um, feelings of this, this glass there. It's also, um, also just a high level, uh, it feels like there are chairs because <laughs> of, um, I don't know. Of these. <laughs> Is your subject in physical? Sort of oh, it's the subject's in physical. You know? physical you know so just, I mean? yeah, those sorry, like and sloppy. That's good. Just wanted to make sure because you didn't mention it. Before. And, um. Yeah. All right. Before a point of okay. Okay. All right. Concept. Yeah, there's, just a, there's a definite energetic movement that the subject is doing, going, flipping over or something. Energetic movement. Uh, I, I go to number three. Yeah. Or number two, right? Right, which is a structure. The structure? Scan two structure. Right. Yeah. Now this thing had an exterior and an interior, right? Is that what you're saying? The structure? Doing? You went in? Okay. You well, yeah, you know, it's But that's not like, like the focal. Um, okay. okay. It's not tangential, you know okay. what I mean? It's right. like, you know, whatever, ghosts um, around or something, but it's like, right. it's not the central okay. aspect. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, um, um, this feels solid, you know, it feels very solid. Okay. But, you know, the stuff around it, I mean, this um, is like, what, atmospheric or something? I can't figure that out either. It's like a... Are you still seeing those bubbles? Something, I don't know, yeah. circular aspect is on there. Um, okay, I'll get a yellowish, yellowish tan feel, yellow tan feel. And it's <laughs> like a... Um, <laughs> You get Some green in there. Um, Specks of um, mm. see that. I don't know. I'm stuck on that. You know, I just keep getting yeah, also these know, these heavy striated. Heavy stride. Yes. And then we'll start, we'll go from there. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Um, aspects to it. When you say Not aspects. like the last session, no. Where, where are those? Oh, kind of like that. Well, you know, it, it seems to go back and forth between that and sort of a, like a mesh okay. track, you know. Um, sense that there's like a um, energy that runs through it, you know, energy runs through it. <laughs> it's kind of, um, it's, it's really, uh, it feels different on the inside than it does on the outside. Kind of it, energetically, atmospherically, it's like, um, Outside there are these more short, shorter frequency, higher frequency energies occurring than inside. Inside seems more uh, maybe directional or buzzing, you know. Outside, yeah, it's like going one way, you know. It's like a vertical orientation? I guess, yeah, at this point. And outside is, uh, shorter frequency energy.
Okay. Any sounds associated with the energy? No. Well, I mean, it's got it's got this it's top to it. It's got this sort of beveled top. It's got these this side to it, which is I don't know. It's, I'm really it's, having difficulty it's with thin. This one. It's thin-sided, thin-walled. It's got this sort of mesh frame thing on the inside of it as well. It's, it's kind of layered. It's got a layered aspect to it. Um, and then the inside um, seems so just rather situation that was kept together that was hollow and dark. Kept something together. I don't know what it is. Situation. Down at the bottom, I think there are these structural aspects like this, you know. Yeah, yeah okay. I actually want to look at some of the early stuff to look at some of the sketches and stuff. Is it density inside? Is it more dense inside? It turns into something new. Can't be. No, 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 not really. Okay. Doesn't seem to be. It seems to be maybe open on the bottom or something, you know, like open on bottom. Yeah. Then move on, I guess. That would be your energetics. Yeah. Is this the same as the reaching, or is it something else? Oh, this is, um... It's a white puffiness. And it's, um... Does this represent a singular It's got this downward swirling of motion. Of together, you just sense a, a person. And it's, um... You know... Like in it's the last thing we viewed, you know, it's like you get all these... This idea of like a crowd or something. It's not like that. Screaming. It's more like a... Sort of a spiral down. Continuous sound or off and no, on? No, you know, off and on. And, um, um, I'm not sure. I'm feeling really stuck right now. Give me something else to do so that I can get out of this. Yeah, give me something else to do. Just I'm getting it, you know, like okay, a physical yeah, reaction a of myself. Um, an off kilter. I feel like I feel like. Uh, yeah. Like, okay. Like my chair is moving up and down. Is energetic is related to some um, yeah. structural thing. I don't know yet. You know. It might be. There's a puffiness like around the energetic as it goes down, you know, like. Boom. Yeah. As it moves down, yeah. I don't know. There's a. Um, it turn. It's like it's like it's turning and. Tumbling. Yeah, you know, it's like a tumbling feel. what it feels like. Voices in it. Inside. Yeah. I mean, I hear it. I hear like voices. Okay. What's around? Oh, right. You know, like I'm not sure if this is a conceptual part, you know what I'm saying? Um, is directed towards the subject? Nothing. Just the event. It doesn't situation. seem like anything. Is it directed in any way, or is it just general? Okay. Figure out how these fit together. Yeah. So I guess keeping... Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a... Okay, GS. So I've got... Subject... Subject structure. structure.
Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure, you know, I mean, uh, these elements seem to be rather discarded from each other, you know? Yeah, don't force Yeah, I need to figure out how they are together because I got three different elements. I've got the structure, the subject, and the energy. The structure is weird, okay, because this is like, this is what I feel. It's like, it's got this... See, it just seems like there's this energy, energetic, through it, you know what I mean? Like, energy through it, it goes one direction, right? When you say one, you're saying, like, up or down, or just... Oh, I don't know if this... Oh, up, I'm not up, sure if it's more. I'm not sure if it's general, two. I'm not sure. Sort of mm -hmm. I just know it's yeah. more than one. Okay. And, uh... So that, we've got that. It's got these aspects to it, these squarish mm -hmm. things okay, here. Is it balanced? Um, is one better than another? Is it squared more? aspects. I don't know what. Could both um, happen? Oh yeah, you know, one's better than the other. It's a very atmospheric but feeling. But both are okay. And we've got this sort of down okay. here. Oh, I'll well, write that down. This is puffy. That's your tumbling thing? Yeah, it's like a tumbling type of energy now. Maybe it's related to this, I'm not sure yet. And um... um what ends up being the deciding factor, the subject? Now the subject the confuses me because I get it in this sort of... It's, it's kind of an energetic... Does the subject have The subject's almost an energetic as yeah, well, but... Out. Yeah, you know, there's a, there's a definite feel like a relationship between the subject and the energetic because of the same types of odd movements. Where would that lay? Yeah. I put it off in this area. Okay. Just keep it there for now. Try to decipher this later in the matrix. Okay, matrix. There's a turning. Do you have any That's more an energetic, it? though. Turning motion. Turning motion and turning downward, like that. No, no, turning no. Turning spiral. It's a spiral. Yeah, motion of energy downward. No, it's internal to the subject, but the uh, um, influence is what keeps it in that moment of stasis. Senses. Okay. Um, black. Stasis. What does that mean to you? And um. Are they conscious? Are they aware? Strange, yeah. you know, it's just you know like this dead space. I actually have to really use the bathroom because I'm going to bathroom break before this because I got kind of hurt in here real quick. Yeah. I'm going to take like Any a tips? two minute okay. break, okay? Yeah. It's weird because it's, no, like it's just like this, so. this sort of like dead space. I can't figure out what that is either. And that's an atmosphere too. Right? Yeah, dead space. Um, okay. Again, you know, I keep getting that turning. Magnitudes. Mm, short, structurally. And, uh... Short, but wider it's than... It's really, you know, it's really weird, okay, because, like, okay, like, I get this subject right, and the subject, I get this, like, sort of weird, like, slow motion thing happening, like, like, as... It's almost like a slow motion in action sort of thing, you know, like, oh no, it's a... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Write that down. <laughs> Subject in a sort of slow motion action scene. Like, uh, Like, uh, oh no, and like, uh, uh, 
reaching around and then spiraling downward like oh no reaching around and spiraling downward um, the subject is is very okay there's a let me just do what I'm just go on my tangent here there's a wispiness to subject um, and a sort of uh, caught in a cycle feeling I don't know what that is there's a caught in a cycle in a cycle cycle in a um, sort of saying subject seems to be saying something as they're moving saying something so you know well yeah you know it's kind of like this it's kind of like it's kind of like this okay we got that motion energy going right. down right every time it like goes like that there's like subjects saying the same thing it's like a loop that keeps happening over and over again okay why don't you this is like the energetic you know right subject saying same thing same thing each time yeah at each point and it's kind of like this same thing and you know there's just just this like white puffiness associated with this like a uh, energetic like a like it reminds me of just like a smoke trail kind of thing you know what, what that would look like is it that's like a cotton candy kind of like that's a the wispiness? yeah you know like this thing you know like whiteness and it's more wispy than granular no the subject is oh it, well that well yeah it's pretty wispy it's cold okay cool. it just reminds me of a of cloud very cloud like you know very cloud like very yeah very cloud like okay let me move on okay um, let's get back in the matrix um, yeah right topos okay much better let me get it here Circular, structurally, you know. Um, Cylindrical. Yeah, 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 right. Okay. Where is it? Give me a second here. Okay. Um, it's a graininess. Okay, energetics. Get that spiral. I already did the energetics pretty much. There's also this rushing feel, like a rushing energetic. In what direction is that? Downward. Energetic, downward. Any sound associated with that? Nah, just, I don't know, probably. Let me see. Yeah, it might be making a sound. It's I'll move on, though. Okay. Subjectives? Okay. The subject is... Sort of <laughs> weird. It's just like that same movement over and over again. Let me just. Sort I'm just like going to kind of review this and slow mo. See if I can slow mo. Where I want to pick up. Okay. Um. It's like reaching out to grab something, you know, slow mo reaching out to grab something. Are you getting anything like fear or something like that? Let me see. Um, let's see. Okay. Like we're getting into 
Yeah. Let me get to the subject now? later on. I just want I'm to run through the matrix. Then we can, can I focus on the subject later? Or? Oh, sure. What do you want me to do? Do a couple more things. Oh, we do? You want to do that or you want It's time to end. You want to stand? I didn't really get into it Oh, we it have yet. to. Okay, okay, all right, all right. sorry. Okay. You got any last, last things you want to kick out? No. No, we'll just stand it. Can we pick it up tomorrow and, um, or after hours or something? I didn't finish. I mean, yeah. I was just starting to get out. That's all right. I mean, we can, we can keep going at another time. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, gotcha. I know. Okay. So we started late. That's all right. That's. I know. We, I didn't know about that. Five. You were supposed to start at three. And right. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Well, okay. you know, we can go back into it. Let's go back into later it. Later on. Okay. We, we, I'm sorry. We had to artificially stop the session because of time. This was supposed to start at three and be done by four thirty. Oh. And so okay. We have to wrap. I know we have to wrap. 31. I know we do because I've got. Of building on us if we yeah. I oh, gotcha. Yeah, as the building closes at five thirty, so we've got to get everybody out. Can you pick this up manana? Yeah, or okay. Can we or finish it today or, or later today or something? Well, um, Tony, are you going to be here tomorrow? He'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, he'll be here. Okay. I was just starting to get into it. It was slow getting started for me because we had done that session not too long ago. Just to get rid of that. Oh, so sorry. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do now is assign some homework and then go over some things. If I can, out of data. I assign a lot of homework in this class. Oh, so, so sorry. Hold on. <clears throat> sorry. Okay, um, so I'm a little discombobulated. <gasps> Homework. Um, number one, I'm going to give you guys three fake objectives. You're going to know what they are. And what I want you to do is to um, do three scans for each of these three fake objectives. This is going to help you uh, get some practice laying out um, each of the scan pages and each of the elements of the scan. So the first one is going to be the Loch Ness Monster. Now you're not really going to be viewing the Loch Ness Monster. You're going to do three scans. The first scan, if, if I gave you Santa Claus, for example, the first scan you might get a subject and describe something red and jolly and fat. And the second one you might get, um, let's see, water. And then you might get the aspects of snow. And the third one you might get a reindeer or something. Okay, so, so do that for the Loch Ness Monster. Um, that would be A. B would be um, the sinking of the Titanic. And C is going to be, um, let's see. My brain's fried. Think, give me an objective, Mike. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need an objective right away. Oh, okay. Um, Something famous. The Vatican. The Vatican. That's the Catholic in you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant they're oh, fake. Yes, they are. <laughs> 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 That's, like a priest, you know, Mike. That's the Catholic in you, too. Recovering Catholic, I should say. So, um, yeah, I meant fake only in that you're not literally viewing it. Oh, it won't be. Because you know the answer. Because you know the answer, so to speak. But it's okay, you might get real stuff even while you're doing it. Whatever. It's just a practice. It's a practice, the it's format. Simulated exactly. Simulated scans. <laughs> to, um, <laughs> to torture you. <laughs> yeah, just to get this to get the format down and to practice the ideograms and stuff like that. Yeah. And then and then what I want you to do, number two, is some uh, what we call ideogram drills. And, and these are boring as heck, but it's going to help you. I see a lot of um, ideograms that are kind of all over the, they're way too long or, or too undefined. And so I want you to do 
two pages of each of the basic six ideograms just to get your hand used to making different kinds of shapes. I see a lot of people in ideogram rut from looking at these sessions, the same one every time. So two pages of each of the um, types, okay? Mountain, water, flat surface, structure, energetics, subject, okay. Okay, and then um, that's it. That's all the homework for tonight. It's not that bad. Tomorrow night will be much worse. <laughs> oh, no, no, one more thing, one more thing. <laughs> Beach bars is tomorrow night, exactly. Now, um, tomorrow, I mean, <laughs> number three. Too many minutes of that theta tape. Um, I'm going to actually give you something to view tonight. Okay, up to the general sketch. And, uh, and the directive on it is um, homework headache. <laughs> and your numbers are 7, 8, 9, 9, 14, 92. Okay. You recommend they do first or do last? Whatever they want to do. It's up to them. You can like you might even want to do the homework if you're tired, do the homework tonight and then get up early and do the session before you come to class. And that's totally acceptable. But uh, so far so good. Tomorrow will be a really interesting day. There'll be lots of interesting things we're gonna view and we're getting into the real essential parts of the session next. And um, sorry I'm a little spacey right now. <laughs> one too many sessions and interviews and things. So, um, any questions? Anything we've covered so far? Everyone's burnt out? <laughs> okay, that's it. Doing dinner. dinner! Where do people, would people like to get together for dinner? Yeah. Oh, oh uh, we can't get together, but we're hoping you guys do. Um, so, why don't people pick places and Anyone have an idea of what kind of food they'd like? And I can tell you where to go. And if you're still there after the photo, I can stop by. Huh? Y'all don't want to eat together? No, that's a great idea. Yeah, we'll end up somewhere. We just don't know where yet. Do you have any recommendations? What? Thai or Chinese? Huh? Get a price wise. Cheap? Um, okay, then I suggest you go to the Terry Cafe, which is Japanese food, and it's really cheap. And you get and sit outside or inside. And um, it is um, from here, you take El Camino Real. Oh, oh, no, no, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys know everything. They don't know anything. Okay. Okay. Get out on the Polymer Oaks okay. and then take a left on Polymer Airport Drive. And I, yes, I'm sure it's a left. Okay. <laughs> you're going away from the ocean. You'll be going east. And then you're going to hit lights at El Camino Real. And it's right past the airport. You can't miss it. It's big interchange. El Camino Real. E L. C-A-M-I-N-O-R-E-A-L. You take a left. You go down. Left on El a left on El Camino. So you head north. And then you go. Um, you're going to keep going. You've got to go through some lights. You're going to go over Highway 78. Okay. Right after you go over Highway 78, there's a road there called Vista Way. Yeah, that's where you guys are staying. That's right. That's the access road, okay? Now, if you were going to go to your hotel, you'd take a right there, but you're going to take a left at the lights. That's at Vista Way. Left at Vista Way, and then just go into the Target parking lot and go past the Target, and you'll see the Terry Cafe there, past the Target. It's in a little self-standing, circular, funky little building. And the food's really good, and they have got really good dinners for like $5. And they've got everything, vegetarian stuff and meat eater stuff. They have got like, you know, teriyaki and noodles. It's a noodle house, really, but they have stuff with rice and stuff. It's a good place to go. And you can eat outside or inside. And uh, 
something for everyone there, I would think. And it's cheap. Breakfast place in the morning. Great. Okay, while we're waiting, I want, wanted to mention um, this Einstein Factor book by Wim Wenger, PhD. In there are uh, a, a number of different accelerated learning techniques that will enhance remote viewing. However, the, the technique that um, is most beneficial is what is called image streaming. Image streaming is practiced on a daily basis for a minimum of 20 minutes a day. And in the beginning, that 20 minutes will feel like 20 hours. It's very difficult to do. But it's very simple technique to do. Speaking aloud with your eyes closed, you describe the images that you see with your eyes closed. Speaking aloud so that your ears can hear it you may want to audio tape those image streams until you're familiar with them and so speaking into a tape recorder is good also so you can play them back and hear them but it's not critical I do not audio tape my image streams but done on a daily basis sitting in the corner late at night or early in the morning Closing your eyes and simply describing what you see and going with that description wherever it takes you. The key to it is speaking it out loud and doing it for 20 minutes. It creates a feedback loop, the speaking aloud creates a feedback loop to your brain and your brain uses parts of your brain that are dormant. It awakens them up. When they did the scientific tests and they were looking at uh, PET scans of the brain, uh, different areas lit up. PET scans. Brain scans. PET. Scott, do you know the actual term? No. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's a scan of the brain and uh, it measures what areas of the brain are being used um, during uh, various procedures. So, um, is this transdimensional system? Yes, it is. Oh, it is? Yes. Uh, supposed to be popping in this Pruer John here? Not yet. Not what yet. what okay. can I do for you? Um, I'm supposed to be here today. What's your name? Brett. Brett, uh, yeah. what? what? Uh, Cotter. Okay, Brett, how are you? Mike Faber. Thank Come you. in and have a seat. Okay. We're in an informal point. Um, so, uh, image streaming, um, you must do this for 21 days in a row to have this measurable effect. But as remote viewers, we would like you to do it every single day of your life from now on. You will get to the point where you are describing Technicolor movies. That's what your your that's what's actually occurring when you close your eyes. Um, your subconscious mind provides visual imagery, and you're able to describe it in in Hollywoodian terms. Eventually, at first, you may only see amorphous shapes and colors. At first, you may see nothing. And that's what you were describing. You're closing your eyes, and you're saying, "I'm seeing nothing." I'm seeing just a black void. And that black void goes on forever. But wait, there's a blue color emerging down at the bottom of my sight. And you continuously are talking through this process for 20 minutes. Less than 20 minutes will not get the desired effect. 
More than 20 minutes enhances the effect. But 20 minutes is the target time. The key is speaking out loud. If you don't do it out loud, your ears can't hear it and your brain can't create this feedback loop. The <coughs> feedback loop in your brain is what does the trick. There are other advanced techniques in the book that I had mentioned um, that you'll discover for yourselves. This is a book of discovery and it is one of the most exciting discoveries you can imagine. I encourage you to experiment with all of the techniques in here. They're all valid. They're all incredibly helpful. And uh, you can email me at Mike at Large Universe to find out which of these I use in my cool down. It's a lot of fun. So, talk about homework. Let's talk about homework. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, Wayne. I just wanted to know if you could do a 30 second demonstration of that process. Yes, please. A 30 second? Uh, well, I, I, sure, sure. Um, hold on a second. Red with orange streaks in it, bursting into yellow with blue around the edges. Here comes a white horse. A white horse is galloping left to right. There's wings on the horse. It's a pegasus and it's lifting off. It's going across my vision. And when I, oh my gosh, it's just turned around in midair. It's coming back to earth. There's a little boy in the corner. He's looking up at the pegasus. And what he see is, what he's, oh my, oh. He's got flowers in his hand. He's offering the flowers to the horse. The horse has got down on his front knees. There's water in the background. There's a tree way off in the distance. The tree has fruit in it, red fruit. And in the fruit, there's, um, there's some sort of creature in the tree. I can't see that the trees are ruffling caused by the movement of the creature. There's water, a stream in front of the tree. Fruit is falling from the tree into the stream and it's moving on down the stream. That's the sort of thing that you want, you don't, you're describing in live, real terms what's going on. You're not saying, I see this and I see that. You're describing the actual thing in real time as it occurs. Usually it starts out with just colors. When I imaged, I image stream a lot, so things happen quickly when I do that. Um, and I could go on forever. Um, it's kind of goofy if you've got family members. Um, they they kind of say you're going sitting over in the corner going nuts, but um, believe me, it is uh, the single most effective tool a remote viewer can use outside of the protocols. Yes. Do you recommend setting like a little kitchen timer so you have your 20 minutes rather than? Being yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Don't be conscious of the time. Set a set an egg timer first. Um, and, and, and then forget and put it up far enough away so you don't hear it ticking. You don't want distractions and you want to find a quiet corner to do this. Um, I, I dim the lights, I set the mood. I don't want any distraction, don't want any bright lights, don't want any sound um, in, in the room. I don't use my cool down to get there. I use my subconscious, let my subconscious do all the work. I curl up in the corner against, I like, a, I like to feel support. I like to know that I'm in touch with, with angle. So I go into a corner and face out. So I've got the walls, to, two walls protecting me because you go places fast. You go, you go weird places. So uh, you feel grounded at all times. Um, that's for me, that's for me. My wife um, um, lays down and, and, and does it when she does image streaming. Um, okay, let's talk about shifting gears. Uh, let's talk about last night's homework. Um, did we all get it all done? I'm sure we did. Any questions on the first part? 
doing these practice sessions. Yes, Scott. Uh, I have three questions. Uh, the first one, uh, after the numbers are read, like the two rows of the yes, numbers. Yes, what we call the tag. After the tag is read, uh, we are to doodle immediately or we're to write down one of the six ideograms immediately? Well, the six ideograms are the doodle. We only, your ideogram is always going to be one of these, nothing else. Your brain will give you, at this stage, some distorted picture of one of these. That's what we want on there. The doodle is this. This is a doodle, this is a doodle. These are all doodles, but they are also archetypical ideograms. They're direct communications from your subconscious as to what this session is all about. Okay, now, what do those correlate to? Number one? Number is one is what we call a subject. Any sentient being, past, present, future, physical Could or you paraphysical. The rest of them? Yes. So that is a subject ideogram. It is the simplest form of a body. Any variation of this is acceptable. Yesterday we looked at a session from Kathy who had pretty much circles. Um, it was the rafting session and she drew a beautiful um, archetypical ideogram, ideogrammatical um, uh, session that had a number of round circles in it. Well, those were subjects. Those are the people in, the, in, the, um, in her general sketch. The second one, this wavy line or a variation of it, excuse me, Hi. No. Nope. Cancel it. Okay, the second one is a wavy line. That is a representation of water. Okay. Ide this is the ideogram for water. If you get a wavy line, this is proof calling. So. Hi, you're interrupting class. <laughs> okay. She knows better. Okay, this is the ideogram for water. Any variation of that is water. Okay? Usually it is a flat or, or a horizontal wavy line. The third may look like this when you draw it, except it's some degree of has some degree of verticalness. It is energy. It is represent, representative of any form of energy. And that could be anywhere from bioenergy, we feel with a hum, in your human body, or any sort of biological energy. It could be in chemical, mechanical, electrical, nuclear, paraphysical energy. It doesn't really matter. Energy. Number four, this straight up and down mountain looking thing is a mountain. Could be a hill. Could be anything having to do with, looks like a pyramid, however you draw it, anything that gets semi close to that. You remember, you're not trying to duplicate these, it's, and you're doing them lightning speed, that's a mountain. A flat horizontal line is any flat surface, primarily land. Usually it's natural, but it could be that you're viewing a piece of wood. So uh, that piece of two by four might be representative of a, of a flat surface. So uh, usually we're talking about land here. And then the last one, number six, is anything involving a right angle, any type of right angle that you want. There are no right angles in nature. So that tells us right away it's a structure. Are you seeing that, Fortune? Yeah. Okay. It tells us right away it's a structure. The structure may be natural or man-made because certainly there are natural structures uh, present in nature. Um, you, we've all seen them. Um, a cave for is a good example. That, that would come across as a structure natural. Yes? 
Um, I'm seeing, you know, relationships to the four elements, except for air, and, and, and as you were describing them, I thought, you know, what if there was space? What if we were in space? We often are view, we view space. And then how is that, how would space be portrayed? In space that? would come across usually as an energetic, That's kind of but, it, but then when you decoded it yeah. in A, yes. would come across as intangible. We've got an intangible energetic. What does that tell an analyst? Wow. Yeah. Already in A, we know we're dealing with something that's space-like okay. or vaporous. Okay. You know. So, okay. could come across, yes. My last question uh, in B, when you're declared the Enneagram, uh, how many other options, if any, other than man-made or natural, are there? None. It's one or two. Yeah. When we say man-made, it's simply not human, necessarily. An egg would be man-made, but it could come from an ostrich. A cooked egg, you mean? No, um, an ostrich egg. Let's say you're viewing an ostrich egg. Well, it's both natural and man-made. In terms, we, rather than saying subject-made, you know, most often man-made is linked with structure. But there are times. There's exceptions to every rule, as of, cor of course. There are times when it might be something else. So, um, does that answer your question, Scott? Okay. It, B can only be one of these six things, plus either natural or man-made. And the natural or man-made is optional. You don't have to put it down. But if you get a sense of it, usually in decoding this ideogram up in A, you will get a sense that it's either natural or man-made. Mountains, obviously, are always natural for the most part. Now, yesterday in the boat on the uh, rough water, the raft trip, yeah. you have uh, natural water in a man-made boat. So, yes. Um, Your subconscious will focus on the most interesting aspect to you. So there is no right or wrong. There only is what is. You could, we only, and we only, didn't we only do one scan on that one? I think we only did one scan. I'm not. Was I, it possible to literally miss the boat? Absolutely. Um, I, I've got a famous story, um, uh, and it relates to um, the ghost story that I told yesterday, when the ghost fell in love with the remote viewer. Um, that remote viewer, uh, in another session, is this a true story? Yeah. Oh yes, absolutely. Um, when, when that remote viewer, who um, is a very sensuous woman, um, happened to be viewing another target, had nothing to do with the ghost, um, the, the target was, the objective was, um, the Wright brothers at Kitty Hawk. She described in excruciating detail the clothing worn by both of the Wright brothers. Missed the airplane completely. She was having a fashion day. And so this, her subconscious focused on that clothing and I can, she she described in excruciating detail 15 pages worth of detail on the clothing of the Wright brothers and missed the airplane completely. That's not an invalid session. When combined with someone else's session, we have an even bigger picture of what's going on. Somebody else described the flight in the airplane. She described the Wright brothers put those two sessions together, an analyst would put those two sessions together and write a report that was very detailed. We have the flight, we have the, the clothing of the Wright brothers. Yes, sir. Uh, do you the concept of door knobbing? I'm not familiar oh. with that concept, but maybe under another term. Uh, the, the military viewers use that. It means that uh, the first thing that gets your attention is uh, Let's say the target is the signing of the Declaration of Independence, and the first thing that gets your attention is the doorknob to the room, and you spend your whole, whole session. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not familiar with the term, but but yes, that that's basically what happened with Rosie. Um, she doorknobbed the the um, the clothing. That's what got her attention, and she became fixated on it, 
and, and didn't ever do an exercise that expanded her view. Later on in the session, uh, deeper into the session, you can do exercises that change your perspective and change your awareness. And had, had she done that, she would have seen that there's an airplane involved here in a historic event. Yes? Do you always change your perspective, like whenever you um, are remote viewing something? I would love to say that I do, but frankly, you lose, you lose perspective during remote viewing. Mm -hmm. And when you are working solo and without a monitor, there's nobody to bring you back into perspective. And your perspective could be such, if you're a strong-willed person such as myself, you could be leading that monitor and taking that monitor with you on your story. So um, I don't always change my perspective. Sometimes you just get it and you don't need to change your perspective. But there are a number of things you can do. You can, can move along a timeline. If you're looking at an event, you can view the time before it, you can view the time after it, you can view the event itself. You can shift your perspective to um, um, some distance above the event. Let's say you're viewing it from ground level and uh, you want to see what it looks like from 500 feet directly above. No problem. At the speed of thought, you're up there. Um, but you, you, you have to record and write down a command that does that. So the command would be, prepare to shift your awareness to 500 feet above the objective. Shift your awareness. And then boom, you're there. Speed of thought. But we'll get to that later. I'm well, jumping like ahead. If you're doing self-viewing, self you only have one point of view. Not at all. You, uh, the more you view, and what I do, frankly, is I make a little cheat sheet that I set down next to me because I do lose my perspective. I have a cheat sheet where all of the various focus exercises, all of what we call the post-matrix exercises, are available to me. And I can simply look at that and say, and, then, and, and what happens, you're so connected with the objective that often, for me, what happens is what I need to do starts to glow off that page. It becomes highlighted. Everything else I lose focus on, and it says, oh, well, timeline. So I know I'm going to do a timeline. And then I look back again and it says, oh, blend. So I want to blend. I want to become that, that, that subject. Or morph. I want to morph with that structure. And you'll get all of that later. I'm sorry. I'm jumping it way ahead. Yes? Um, we, we have a little disagreement on how we understood to do the open collector. So I want to make sure that okay. you go straight. You drew, you drew one, two, three. I, that was a mistake. Okay, so you don't you you do it as one. Explain that. Explain Here's that. the open collector. Okay. You, you don't you number your scans, but you don't number the page. Okay. You don't do the three columns. Only in a defined collector, do you, which which at the professional level we always do defined collectors. Okay. So defined collectors is actually better. Um, no, not necessarily, but um, one of them is a lot different than the other two. An it open, gave me a headache to put my three together and do an open collector. Out. It actually is easier to do an open collector. Defined collectors are, are actually much more difficult to do, but there's no difficult aspect to it at all. But um, an open collector is a very simple, I've got my three scans here, I'm combining the data, and I'm writing down the order in which that comes. Boom, 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 boom. Tons of words. I'm going to talk about that later, maybe. Yeah, we're going to have another exercise. It does, well, you it's see, totally thing, like doing it's totally, the whole session is totally intuitive. Right. But I mean, are you like looking at your stuff and then thinking about them or are you just... I'm not thinking at all. Putting your paper on the pages and... Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm touching those pages and I'm moving my hands over them. I'm extracting the energy from them and this is all happening instantaneously. So it's a new viewing, really. I mean, not really using the intellectual information you've gathered before. It's not an analysis of the other parts. You don't. You're not. You're never anal analyzing the data. Mm -hmm. you, that's somebody else's job right. after the fact. Okay. During the session, you're never analyzing the data. Okay. You're trusting the data. You just try. But, but okay. But you're not even bringing the data to mind. Well, the data is in front of you, and so it is right. there, fresh. It is there for you to prompt you into the into the um, collector. But I mean, okay, but okay. So you see red, and you say, well, gee, you know, it's really reddish-brown. It's more sophisticated. 
So or you, you would go through each scan. You go through each scan. You're probing. As well as feeling. Oh, probing. Not in, in, you never intellectually, oh. intuitively. Okay, but if you read red, you're reading that as an intellectual thing and saying, oh, it's really red brown. No, you feel. You okay. feel the difference. It's really reddish brown. Okay, but at least you do read the things. Of course. Okay. But you're reading it intuitively. You're looking at it and you're right. saying, well, this is important, that's important. You're organizing the data into a collector. You're collecting it. You're pulling it together. You've got three disparate and separate scans. Now you're collecting that data into one page. Okay. And you're collecting it on a more sophisticated level than you recorded it initially. And as you are doing this, this, the process of elimination and the process of organization that your subconscious is providing says that that's not red. That's not red. That's not, that's not red. Not you know, or, or gosh, here's a point you missed. And that point is there's, um, there's clanging sounds occurring. So all of a sudden that's new data that gets recorded in the collector. Anybody else? Okay, questions, Any back to the homework. Let me see um, the sinking of the Titanic se session from everybody. As a matter of fact, um, bring it up. Everybody bring their sinking of the Titanic session up to the desk. That's B. <laughs> Just want to take a look at your form, and I'm going to make comments on it. Bring them up. Come on, up. scatter around here. This is this is the funnest part of the training: is looking at what people do. Bring up your sessions. Sinking of the Titanic. These are blank because I didn't know how to operate to translate videograms. Okay. That's why I asked the questions. That's okay. I just put the forms down. Heavens, that's, what, that's what this is about. Bring up your sessions. Is your conditioning on? It's very hot and stuffy. In here. It will be. It's an automatic system. Okay, um, who wants to go first here? Nobody. All right. well, I'll go first. Uh, I didn't do the homework except for just to get the structure down. So I didn't do any reading on it at all. Okay, uh, well let's look at your structure. And I want to be sure that the, the, the structure was accurate. That's why I asked the questions. Okay, and, um, just as a general comment, I noticed nobody created a tag for themselves. Nobody did a transit line other than. I did mine. Oh, that's, uh, this is my tag. That's a transit line. Well, I want to see a full page transit line, okay? I want all this space to be used. Well, my hand's doing it subconsciously, so. I Keep don't. doing it until you fill that page. <laughs> How do you mean? Well, give me your pen. Draw, yeah. So we would take the tag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you want the whole mission? Uh, yeah, I, I want that. the cover page, too, the first page. No, that's this page. I that's thought we were just supposed to do the scan. That's okay. I, what we want to do is we want you to practice what a session looks like in total. Oh. So you would set it up the same way for your practice as you would a real session. You'd create your own tag. Emotional state, physical state, mental state. Yeah. Is that right? Where's your super secret code name? Well, I just used my name on it. Because I thought I was going to hand it in. You want to know who it was or something. <laughs> I don't know. Always use your super secret code name. It's kind of fun, actually. I'm Agent Triple Maybe his name That's is good. Super secret code name. Yeah. That, that could be your name. Bill so is not his real we want to see, name. We want to see for, for any session that you follow the form and the protocols exactly, even if it's a practice session. Okay. <clears throat> um, 
Let me see ideograms. Water. You, your yeah, form is scanned. What's this word here? It says up, around, down. Soft, wavy, okay. Water, that's good. Okay, you all get water. Um, you have a subject and a structure. Try to limit it to two subjects and or multiple subjects and structure. Try to limit it to one ideogram at this point. Uh, even though you want your your urge to do a complex ideogram, try to keep it one at at this level because you're okay. looking like you're doing complex all the way through. Uh, oh, keep it there. What's this? The subject, okay. Yeah, yeah good, good probing. Yeah. Okay, you need uh, much, much more detail on your A. Oh, okay. okay. And what, what I would describe this as um, diagonal up, curving over, going back, flat, curving down, looping, and moving straight out. Okay. I want a lot of words there. Okay, that's what that pen did. That pen just didn't do per loop around. My head, I knew. Yeah, but <laughs> but not in the analyst. An analyst That's half right. a continent away, a month from now, won't know That's what was right. in your head. Okay. Okay. Good. I want a detail in that in that A, and then uh, you probe. That's good. It's soft. That's good. Um, what is this? Uh, you, um, I see. Is oh, I got human beings, which is. Sort of, I realize it needs to be written out. Standing human being, yeah. but that's that's way too high level. You don't know if they're human beings. You just know that they're subjects. And and what you would have here is um, the 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 contour and the shape. And what you've got your ideogram. You're not describing human beings. You're describing subjects. subjects. So what you're going to be saying here, you're feeling this, and you're saying, well, what I've got here is curved and rounded. Right. That's the shape. That's the shape of a human being, yeah. curved and rounded. Yeah. Some of us are more rounded than others, but curved and rounded. That's what you would get as that description. That's good, okay. Right angle. Whose is this? Who's Billy? Me. Ah, okay, Billy. Um, on your thing, what you really got here is a complexity gram. And this is really, uh, actually what you've drawn is a dead subject because you didn't complete the loop. An uncompleted loop or a flat loop is usually indication of a dead subject. And at the Titanic, you're going to get dead subjects. And you put that into a structure, but you really have two ideograms. I want you to stop after the first one because the second one will come through on the second scan. It's bursting to come out, and that's why it pops out here as a complex ideogram. Let the scans develop those, those uh, ideograms. Uh, B, you really, you, you declared a structure to B, but your dominant part of the ideogram is the subject. Hard, smooth. You've got a, the, the, the third part of the decoding of the ideogram in A is a description of the contour of your ideogram. It may be smooth, but this is also very curved. <coughs> so you're missing the curved part of it. Okay? Maybe also be elongated curve in your in, in this case. And you've got a structure there, so water, salty, good, dark, movement, good. These are good C words, shadow, side, very good C words. Good one. Okay, A, B, D, okay. So you've gone through the form. Structure, big, man-made, mountain dragon, little boat, okay. MM man-made? Hmm? MM man-made? Yeah, yeah, that's how okay. I see it. Yeah, okay. And these are good, good uh, collector words. Problematic. What's this word here? Danger. 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 Mistake. Mistake. Hitting. hitting. Yeah, these are real, real good C on. words. I wonder where, where those kind of higher order words come in. They come in the collector. They come in the collector. More sophisticated okay. words. 
So that's where they go. They go into the collector. You, you're probing your, your, your um, sketch, your, your pictograph, and you're getting these, well, gee, it certainly is problematic, certainly is danger. So that's where those words go. Because as we get deeper into the session, we get more detail. And um, you're moving away from the simple scans into more complicated and complex material, but not higher level material. She kept those words problematic. How can you break that down? It's a basic word, but it's more sophisticated. Danger is a much more uh, sophisticated term than she might have written, not even written anything um, equal to danger, uh, but scary. She had scary, so now she's described scary as danger. That's an even better description. So in, in going from the scan to the collector, she's gotten more sophisticated. Good progression here. Okay, let's take these back, take these back. Now this is actually called the protocols, these things that we're doing and how we've done them. The scans, the, the, the transit line, the, scran, the scans, the uh, collector, the general sketch, the matrix, the post matrix exercises are all the protocols. The rules that we follow to occupy our conscious mind while we do these things. So what's methods then? Because usually they say protocol is double blind and method is the technique, the specific school technique. Method is, is the no somatic or TDS method. Yeah. But the protocols are, are what you are learning. You're learning the remote viewing protocols. They are virtually the same school to school with differences, differences in terminology. And I don't think any school other than this one has a collector. I may be wrong, but I'm not up on all the schools. It's and not my. Have matrix, don't they? Everybody's got a matrix. Yeah, the matrix is. Uh, we we'll define the matrix. We'll get to the matrix. Okay. That's a, a lesson. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, second, ideogram drills. Then pass in your ideogram drills, and then get a clean sheet of paper. Actually, get six clean sheets of paper. We're going to drill some more on ideograms. After seeing your ideograms, I want to see, hand in your, your. I did not do my ideograms. Okay. Now, I was not putting the homework. You're just supposed to. Take That's the yes, okay. spontaneously, quickly, fast. Um, so that you are. You're kind of training your system, your hand-eye coordination, your subconscious mind to hand-eye. We're going to drill on ideograms. We're going to do it this morning. Oh, no, no problem. No problem. I haven't done them yet. No problem. Hello there. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Okay, everybody's got a blank sheet of paper. We're going to do an ideogram drill. I'm going to bark out an ideogram, and you are going to, in a lick of an eye, in a split of a moment, write it down. Okay? Quickly record it on a piece of paper without thinking. Everybody ready? Look up at what they are again. I'm going to go through them one more time. Subjects, sort of a loopy character. Water, sort of a wavy, horizontal line. Energy, sort of a dramatic, lightning boltish, angleish, kind of a vertical line. Mountain is up and back. Flat surface and land is a straight line. And a right angle in any f way, shape, or form is a structure. Stand by, here we go. One, two, three, structure. Structure. Mountain. Subject, mountain, subject, structure, flat line. Flat line. <laughs> flat line, that's what we call it. Energy, energy, mountain, water, 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 subject. Quicker, I want them quicker. Mountain, mountain, structure, water. Energy, 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 structure, subject, land, water, water, mountain, 
energy, subject, land, structure, structure again. One more structure, land, subject, mountain. That's as fast as you need to be. Thoughtless, quick, lightning fast. Don't think about it. That, those four, two sets of four numbers are your diving board into the, sub, into the uh, session. And as soon as you write them down, you're simultaneously writing, instantaneously writing that whatever it is, you're not thinking about it at all. And at first they look cockamamie and they don't look like what Mike drew on the board in his artistic excellence, but they are what your subconscious tells you this session is all about. Okay. A wee bit of problem anticipating ideogram. If you guys just do one little ideogram. And we do three it. ideograms minimum. Uh, one at a time, though. One at a time. Immediately after you finish that number. Yes. So how do you keep from like, oh, what's my ideogram going to be when you're writing the number? I mean, you're not thinking about what your ideogram is. You never are thinking during a session. Ah. You're never thinking during a session. The more you think, the more your conscious mind is in control of what's going on. And we don't want that to happen. Okay. But even if you are thinking, which you're not supposed to do, but even if you are thinking, just trust that you're thinking of the right one. All right. Now I had a question actually, is that, what if you have a preponderance towards a certain one? Oh, that does happen. <laughs> yeah. like you you just, you get, into a, you get into a rut. What you do is you realize you're in a rut and I'm gonna do some drills. On my, on my own, I'm going to do some drills. I'm going to do six pages, one of each. And I'm just going to sit there and do mountains all day. And whatever the ones, I'm going to start with the ones I'm not drawing. If I keep drawing subjects, I'm going to go to structures. I'm going to start with structures. The last one I'm going to do is subjects. The la I'm going to reward myself at the end. And by the end, I get there, and I don't want to draw the subjects. I've made my point to my mind. Let's shift to Prue. You want to pause? Uh, give me just a yes, Scott. Well, I thought after the numbers, you do your doodle. Is well, your doodle is your ideogram. The doodle and the ideogram are identical. But you're Wait, only, you can only do the one... The transit line doodle is not the same as the... Oh, I'm sorry. The transit line. I'm sorry. You're calling the doodle. That's to disengage your conscious mind. And it's not a consistent part of the session. It's a consistent part of the session. It's not an important part of the session. So you're doing this doodle simply to disengage your conscious mind. You never interpret the doodle. We never interpret the doodle. And the ideogram does not come from the doodle. No. No. It comes on the ideogram starts on page two. No wonder. All right. And then you write the then you write the code again and just start the ideogram immediately after. 